hey you guys i'm back again with another quick message from the lord if you guys hear anything in the background it's my car diffuser going on um but god dropped this in my spirit and i got to come share it y'all we have to be very obedient to god um this ties into the message that god is very detailed but in this season god wants you to seek him for instructions when it comes to buying and stocking up on supplies and food um you guys know on the east coast um is um recently you know the ports and stuff went on strike so on the east coast like a lot of people were panicking um they were going out buying toilet tissue water like it was just going out buying like impulsively buying stuff um with me um while all that was going on i began to pray i'm like all right god um what do you want me to do and God was like, you're going to go regular grocery shopping like before. The strike is not going to last long. And you need to go on this day. And you need to go on between this hour. And you need to go to this store to do your grocery shopping. And I'm like, okay, God. But when I normally do like big grocery shopping like that, I don't know, normally go to that store. He was like, well, you're going to the store. So I was just obedient, right? Got my normal items that I could get. Um, however, I did notice that, um, cause when I go shopping, y'all, I do curbside pickup. I don't really like to walk around and stuff in stores. Um, and I noticed that I couldn't put water inside of the cart. Um, it was showing like some water was out of stock. It was showing that, um, one minute, one minute on the app, it was showing that were completely out of stock. One minute in the app, it was showing um, that it was just in-store pickup. Like you had to go inside the store and get it. So I was like, okay, God, like, you know, I'm kind of low on water. So what do I need to do? And God was like, you're going to go to that store. And when you go to the store <laughs> and you pick up your grocery from um, curbside pickup, ask the person who's putting the stuff in your car, do they have water? He said, because they're going to get a shipment in of water. Y'all, I was obedient. Whenever the young gentleman came and he asked me, he was like, you know, where do you want your items? I told him where to put my items at. And I asked him, I was like, hey, do y'all have water? He was like, yes, ma'am, we, we do. I believe we do. I believe we got a shipment in last night, but you're going to have to get out and get the water. I said, that's completely fine. And I said, once you get finished, un you know, unload loading me up, I I'll make sure I do that obedience y'all and that's just not it go inside to the store look at dragonfly go inside to the store to go get some water <sighs> get to the back it was a gentleman there always already to the back getting water he see that i was looking at water he just started he asked me he was like do you want me to put some water inside your buggy for you and he started putting water the water that i wanted inside my buggy so I won't have to do all the heavy lifting. Y'all, it pays to be obedient. I don't care what's going on in the world. God is going to supply for his children, but you have to be obedient and follow the instructions. If I would not have went during the time and during the location where they got the shipment of water, I would have been waiting for water for a while. But see, it pays to be obedient. Y'all, we have to be obedient and seek God for instructions when it comes to supplies and when it comes to getting food and stuff in this season, in this hour. Um, because due to what happened at the ports, there are going to be like a little lag time with getting certain supplies since they, were, they didn't work for those two days. So it's going to be a lag time. And I can say that because... Um, you know, I used to be a dispatcher, so I used to dispatch for the truckers and I did that for like almost two years. So I know, um, a little bit about the logistics and how the port and stuff operate and how, um, it is with the stuff coming off the ships and stuff like that and getting the ships, the, the shipment and stuff to the different locations. So it's going to be a little lag time. Some, some people are not going to be able to get, um, everything that they need at that time, but you have to be obedient. And go and ask God, okay, God, what store do I need to go to? When this we have to consult God about every single thing. Every single thing. Every single thing. God doesn't want us to live in fear. 
but he do want us to seek him for instructions and everything. Like I said, if I didn't, while everybody was out panicking and stuff, I didn't even go to the stores. I'm like, okay, God, I don't even want to go to the store. God was like, no, you're going to wait. You're going to wait till all this is over with. Pretty much die down. You're going to go to this store during this time. <laughs> and you're going to ask the person who comes to your car if they got water. Now, if I wasn't obedient to him and want to do things my way, I would have never got water. So do what God is calling you to do in this season in this hour and be obedient. Seek him for supplies, seek him for strategies. Like I said, I did a grocery pickup at a store that I normally don't really go to as much to get grocery. I just go there to get like little things that I might need. But he was like, no, you're going to do your whole grocery shopping here. And I was able to get majority of the things that I needed. All right. So I suffer for like two items. That was it. So be obedient. See God for instructions during this season, during this hour. Y'all don't be, don't be afraid. Don't panic. God is going to take care of his children. You just got to be obedient in this season, in this hour. Okay. Um, he understands that a lot of y'all have been trying to put supplies and food away for when, um, we might, when, whenever a pandemic or something hits again, that you can have your cabinets and stuff um, to hold you until, you know, things might open back up again or something like that. So, but it's been hard for a lot of guys' children or for some of guys' children because the devil been trying to attack your finances. So you can't stock up on certain things. Um, or you are on a budget. So... You might didn't have the money at the time to go out and get the supplies and stuff that you needed because you were waiting for um to get paid, right? Because you took your you must you took your um majority of your money from your last check to pay all your bills, and then that money that didn't hit yet was going to be for your grocery shopping and stuff like that. God knows, because God has told some of His children that we're gonna have to be on a strict. Um, budget in this season in this hour when it comes to spending we have to watch how we spend right so if you're being obedient to god he will look out for you he will take care of you just follow his instructions seek his instructions during the season in this time when it comes to buying supplies and food all right so i love you guys i pray that you all have an amazing day and i will chat with you all later